हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 7.2 फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एम एल अगरवाल सो हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम हियर सम नंबर 1 फाइंड द प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंटेज व्हेन हियर सीपी सीपी मींस कॉस्ट प्राइस ओके कॉस्ट प्राइस इक्वल टू हियर 400 एंड एसपी दैट मींस सेलिंग प्राइस that one equal to 468 so as here selling price is greater than cost price so definitely there will be profit okay always remember that for the profit selling price will be always greater than cost price and for the case of loss cost price is greater than selling price so now you have to find out the percentage of profit so first remember the formula here the formula that is sp minus cp divided by cp into 100 so now here just put down the value sp equal to 468 minus 400 divided by 400 into 100 so here 0 0 cancel out so that means here 68 by 4 and that one equal to 17% so here percentage of profit that equal to 17% now sum number 2 here cp cp equal to here 13600 and here sp equal to rupees 12104 so as cp greater than sp that means here loss so percentage of loss equal to now the formula is cp minus sp remember that for the profit sp minus cp but for the loss cp minus sp and the denominator will be also always denominator will be always cp and again multiply with 100 because as here percentage so write down here cp means 13600 minus 12104 divided by here 13600 into 100 so here 0 0 cancel out now as here 13600 minus 12104 that will be here 1496 okay and divide by 136 so that one equal to 11% as your answer now sum number 2 by selling an article of rupees 1636.25 that means here sp equal to 1636.25 a dealer gains gains means profit so here profit equal to 96.25 find his gain percentage so to find out the gain percentage first you have to find out the cp so here cp equal to you know that sp minus profit okay cp equal to sp minus profit 1636.25 minus 96.25 that one equal to 1540 okay so now you have to find out gain percentage or percentage of profit that one equal to you know the formula sp minus here which one sp minus cp or you can directly write down sorry sp minus cp sp minus cp or you can directly write down the profit because sp minus cp is equal to profit and divided by cp then multiply with 100 so this one will be here 96.25 here 0 0 cancel out 154 into 10 okay so here your answer that is 6.25 after calculation next sum number 3 by selling an article for rupees that means here sp equal to rupees 770 a man incurs a loss of rupees so here loss equal to rupees 110 now for that case cp equal to sp plus loss so as here sp equal to 770 plus 110 so that one equal to 880 so cp equal to 880 now percentage of loss equal to you can write down here cp minus sp that means loss so 110 divided by 880 into 100 so it's cancel out here it's 8 so that one equal to 100 by 
and that will equal to 12.5 percent as your answer now next one sum number four Rashida bought 25 dozen eggs at the rate of rupees 9.60 per dozen. 30 eggs were broken in the transaction and he sold the remaining eggs at 1 rupee each. Find her gain or loss percentage. So as here, CP of dozen, okay, CP of 1 dozen eggs that equal to 9.60. Remember that. So, 1 dozen means 12. Okay. 12 eggs. And here next, CP of 25 dozen eggs. That one equal to definitely 9.60 into 25. So, that one equal to 240. Now, here total number of eggs. Total number of eggs as you know, 1 dozen means 12. So, 25 dozen means 25 into 12. So that one equal to 300 okay 30 eggs were broken in the transaction and she sold the remaining so now write down here remaining number of eggs that one equal to 300 minus here 30 so that one equal to 270 now she sold the remaining eggs at one rupee each okay so that means here total SP, SP of 270 eggs, that one equal to rupees 270. Because 1 into 270, it's 270. So here CP equal to 240, SP equal to 270, that means is profit. So now percentage of profit, that one equal to here 270 minus 240 divided by 240 into 100. So 0, 0 cancel out. This one here 30 by 24 into 10. So here 310, here 38. So that one equal to 100 by 8. And 100 by 8 means you know that 12.5%. Now the next one, sum number 5. Here in sum number 5, the cost of an article was 20,000. Okay. So that means here CP equal to rupees 20,000. And 1400 was spent on its repair. So, repairing charge here, repairing charge that equal to 1400. Okay. If it is sold for a profit of 20%, so that means first you have to find out the total CP. So, total CP will be here 20,000 plus 1400, and that one equal to 21,400. And here, percentage of profit that one equal to 20 percent find the selling price so it's very easy so here selling price that one equal to you know that as here 21400 into as here percentage of profit so it will be here 120 because 100 plus 20 for the profit you have to write down 100 plus 20 for the loss you have to write down 100 minus that one so by 100 so here the sp will be 00, 0 cancel out 214 into 120 and that one equal to 25680 as your final answer. Next, sum number 6. A shopkeeper buys 200 bicycles at 1200 per bicycle. Okay, so it means here total cost, you can write down also CP this one as. So here 1200 is the cost of each bicycle and here 200 bicycles. That means here 24, here 4 zeros. So, there is a total CP. Clear? He spends 30 rupees per bicycle on transportation. So, here transportation cost. That one equal to 200 into 30. Okay? 200 into 30 and that is 6000 rupees. He also spent 4000 on advertising. So, for advertising price, that one equal to 4000. So, that means here total CP. So, here total CP. That one equal to here 2440 plus 6000 plus 4000. So, that one equal to 2512344 zeros. Now, he sells all the bicycles at 1350 per piece. 
that means here total sp equal to 200 into 1350 and that one equal to 270 and then again 30 so that is total sp and that one is total cp so here sp greater than cp that means here profit and now we have to find out the percentage percentage of profit so percentage of profit equal to here 271234 minus 251234 divided by here 251234 into 100 so here 20 cancel out this one equal to here 2 and 1 2 3 4 then here 2 5 double 0 again 20 cancel out now 200 by 25 that means 8 percent now next some number 7 the cost price of an article is 90 percent of its selling price find the profit percentage so first here let sp be rupees x then cp equal to 90 percent of xp that means here 90 by 100 so that will equal to 9x by 10 that is the cp so as here cp equal to this one sp equal to x so you can easily find out the profit so profit equal to x minus 9x by 10 and that one equal to here x by 10 that is the profit so now you have to find out the percentage of profit that one equal to sp minus cp that means here you can write down sorry x sp minus cp is x by 10 and here cp equal to 9x by 10 then into 100 so 10 10 cancel out here x by 9x into 100 then here x x also cancel out so that means 100 by 9 and that one you can write down as 11.1 percent okay 11.1 percent approx now some number eight that is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here rao bought notebooks at the rate of four for rupees 35 and sold them at the rate of five for rupees 58 calculate his gain percentage okay so here first one cp of four note books that one equal to here rupees 35 okay then cp of one notebook that one equal to 35 by 4 okay or you can write down this one as 8.75 now say next one sp of here five notebooks that one equal to here 58 and sp of one notebook that one equal to 58 by 5 and that is 11.6 clear so as here sp is greater than cp that means here profit so percentage of profit that one equal to 11.6 minus 8.75 divided by here cp means 8.75 into 100 okay so as here 11.6 so if you subtract 8.75 from 11.6 it becomes 2.85 then divide by 8.75 into 100 so here point point cancel out so now here 285 875 into 100 so as here 875 divided by 25 it becomes 35 and here 4 now 285 divided by 35 uh, it's not possible so do one thing divide it by 5 so as here 35 by 5 it's 7 and here 285 285 by 5 that one equal to 57 okay so that means 57 into 4 it's 228 divide by 7 so 228 divide by 7 that one equal to 32.57 percentage approx or you can also convert this one into mixed fraction so here in mixed fraction most probably it will be here 32 whole 4 by 7 percentage as your wish.